Hello, FBC Salinas. This is Pastor John coming to you with another edition of the Midweek Refresher video where I desire to do two things. The first thing is provide you information. The second thing is provide you some inspiration for you in the middle of your week. Certainly hope your week is going well. And if not, may this video be a source of encouragement to you and a great reminder that our God is with us in so many different ways, and that he provides for us in ways that we understand and in ways that we don't quite understand. So anyway, on with the informational portion of the video. First is this, is that this upcoming Sunday, the 25th, we are having what we're calling a volunteer push. There will be a variety of ministries uh, with people there to answer your questions as far as areas where you can get involved in. One of our core values here is to be to be servants. And so we want to provide an opportunity for you to interact with some of these individuals who are involved in different ministries here at the church. And so that's this Sunday. I ask you to be praying about where it is that God wants you to get plugged in at uh, in the ministry of FBC Salinas. All right. So that's this Sunday. Then on October 2nd, which is a week from this Sunday, we have a newcomer's luncheon. If you or anyone you know has been coming here for a while and has questions about what's going on here and they want to know, uh, want to get to know some of the staff better or the elders better, that would be great. So that is on October 2nd, all right? So that's a week from this Sunday. Then uh, we made mention of it this last Sunday. Want to make mention of it uh, again today. October 14, 15, and 16 are the missions conference. And we, the portions of the missions committee, uh, met with the keynote speaker that we're bringing in. Uh, yesterday, we met with him via Zoom. And they're excited. I'm excited. It's going to be a great experience for everybody. So that's October 14, 15, and 16. Goes from 6 to 7.30 on Friday night. Goes from 9.30 to 2 on Saturday and then uh, worship service. We'll have a Q&A time during the spiritual formation hour, which is from 9 to 10 o'clock in the morning. And then uh, there'll, there'll be a brief interview with Neil at the worship service at 1030. So that's October 14, 15, and 16. We're calling this, this, uh, uh, this missions conference, the theme we're going with is shift, talking about shifting how we look at missions and what it means to be a world Christian and I really, really am looking forward to this. It's going to be a great time. And so uh, October 14, 15, and 16. All right, if you have questions, email us at info at fbcsalinas.com. We continue our series this week on After God's Own Heart, uh, look at the life of David. And we come to this place in, in 1 Samuel 18 as well as 1 Samuel 20 where we find this beautiful beautiful friendship that develops between David and Jonathan. And, and in 1 Samuel 18, it says this, After David had finished talking with Saul, Jonathan became one in spirit with David, and he loved him as himself. From that day, Saul kept David with him and did not let him return home to his family. Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as himself. Jonathan took off the robe he was wearing and gave it to David, along with his tunic and even his sword, his 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 uh, bow and his belt. Then we go to First Samuel twenty, where things get interesting uh, between David and Saul. That Saul is still trying to kill David, and David says these words. He says, "What have I done? What is my crime? How have I wronged your father that he is trying to kill me?" Never, Jonathan replied. "You're not going to die. Look, my father doesn't do anything great or small without letting me know. Why would he hide this from me?" It isn't so. But David took an oath and said, Your father knows very well that I've found favor in your eyes. And he has said to himself, Jonathan must not know this or he will be grieved. Yet as surely as Yahweh lives and as you live, there is only a step between me and death. And listen to Jonathan's response. Jonathan said to David, Whatever you want me to do, I'll do for you. We live in an increasingly lonely world, an increasingly isolated world. Yes, it's true that we're more connected now from a, from a standpoint of we can access this or we can access that. There's all types of things going on with social media, all these different things, but people by and large are more isolated, more lonely now. Every single 
bit of research is showing that all the more. Young people especially are so isolated that there's no real connection going on. And what we're going to talk about this upcoming weekend is that very thing about the importance of connection. We're designed in the image of God, and that means that we are designed for relationship. So we're going to look at this friendship that David and Jonathan has have, and, and Jonathan saying, in essence, whatever it is you need me to do, I'll do. And by him giving up his robe and, and on these other, other elements that he was wearing that day, what he's saying is, listen, I'm sacrificing. And keep in mind, Jonathan was in line to be the next king. And in essence, what he says, I'm going to sacrifice all that because I want what's best for you, David. And that's what friendship is all about, isn't it? And so I want you to think about what kind of friend you are. I also want you to think about what kind of friends do you have in your life? Because we need to have people in our lives who are looking out for our best interest. That's what friendship's all about. And what Jonathan says to David when he says this, whatever you want me to do, I'll do for you. That's a friend. And that's a friend who's there for us no matter what. So it's my prayer over the coming days that we'll spend time praying that God will help us be better friends, that we'll understand the importance of being a good friend. And God will then use those friendships to do what? To help people know that there is the greatest friend of all. His name is Jesus, and he is the one friend that we all desperately, desperately need. So I hope your day goes well, hope your week goes well, and may we be friends with those folks in our lives where we're looking out for their best interest and that we will do whatever it is that we need to do to help them get to know Jesus better. All right, have a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.